Welcome to Integrity Inspire, your daily dose of inspiration and motivation, featuring the bright and talented members of the Integrity Marketing Group family. Now, here's your host, Integrity co-founder and CEO, Brian W. Adams. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining today's Inspire podcast. We've got a lot of exciting things we want to cover today, and we've got another big announcement that we're going to make as well. But before we get to that, I want to say how excited I am about what is going to be an incredible conference coming up, the Medicare Supplement Conference in Chicago that is starting this week is going to be just a fabulous time. And I can't wait to see many of you as we all gather in Chicago and we see a lot of our agents and agencies and carrier partners. And so if you have agents in Chicago, please make sure that you uh, are in that area. Please make sure that you encourage them to go out and come see us. We're going to be in some big booths there that we want to make sure that people come by and see us. You will not be able to miss integrity the integrity effect will be all over the Medicare Supplement Conference this year. In fact, several of our team members are going to be speaking. We've got a lot of team members speaking, including myself. We'll also have Hirsch Singala, our head of technology, Jamie Rothman, our chief legal officer. We've got guys from DEFT, Agent Pipeline, Garrity, everybody is coming out to speak at this conference, including myself. So it's going to be a lot of fun as we have this big conference. So again, if you're going to be in the Chicago area, you've got agents in the Chicago area, please encourage them to come out this week to that. It will be a lot of fun. We've even got several of our talented partners who will be represented throughout the program. So CSG will speak, Thomas Arch, Def. We also have a VIP night on Wednesday night in the hotel lobby, which is going to be just a lot of fun. So again, if you're in Chicago, if you're around Chicago, if you have agents in Chicago, please ask them to join us. We will have a lot of fun as well. So I can't wait to see all of you guys. In fact, uh, Integrity is also sponsoring the breakfast meeting on Friday morning as well. So we're, we're going to be pretty much everywhere at this conference. As you guys know, at Integrity, we like to do things big. So it's going to be a lot of fun. In addition, we're going to be having our annual AEP kickoff virtual event this year with some incredible speakers to help us get ready for the most important time of the year, our fourth quarter. This is game time. Game time is about to kick off. And we're going to be having our AEP kickoff event virtually on September 16th. That's next Thursday. And this will help us all prepare for this year's AEP. And we've got so many of our platform partners and different leaders that will be speaking at that event. So please join us. I know a lot of you will all be a part of that. If anybody else wants to join, please reach out to your managing partner. We want you to be able to join us as part of that event as well because we've got a lot of exciting things to share and a lot of ways that we plan on growing even faster as we're all coming together as partners here at Integrity. Well, as partners, um, one of the most fun things that we get to do is announce partnerships. And it's one of the things I look forward to every Monday or every Tuesday in this case because I hope everybody had an amazing Labor Day weekend. I I know it was nice to get away with my family. So hopefully everybody else got to spend time with family, friends, and enjoy some time away. But uh, as we get back into the swing of things, we wanted to start off with an incredible announcement. In fact, this is one of those, uh, this partnership we've been working on for literally years. And this is probably one of the most requested partners that we've ever had. And I've had people from so many different partnerships, from Nyslash and Fleming to Premier to Drennan to others, who have said, man, you've got to talk to this group. Um, and we have been so uh, excited to really have this day happen because we've been working on this for so long. And so I am excited that we've got another exciting announcement and I'm pleased to announce that Oberlin Marketing has joined the Integrity family. As part of this transaction, Dan Oberlin, president of Oberlin Marketing, and Dustin Oberlin, his son, executive vice president of Oberlin, will also join us as partners here at Integrity. They're headquartered in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and Oberlin is a high-performing national IMO that offers top products and outstanding services to agents and clients nationwide. 
Dan Oberlin founded Oberlin Marketing almost 35 years ago, and today Oberlin Marketing has become a shiny star in the industry, winning dozens of awards each year. Now that Oberlin is part of the Integrity family, Dan, Dustin, and Justin and their entire team will be able to gain industry-leading technology and resources and tools to help them even grow faster. And so, Dan and Dustin, uh, this has been one of those days that uh, I've been looking for for a long time. I've been to Fort Wayne, Indiana a lot to see you guys, and we're excited to finally be here announcing this new partnership. So, Dan and Dustin, congratulations. Excited to be your partner. Brian, it's been a lot of fun to get to know each other more and more each each year, I guess. But we're very, very excited to become partners and join the Integrity family. I'm eager to get started. We look forward to the opportunities that we now have to expand Oberlin Marketing and to help each other innovate the industry together. You know, the value of integrity um, has always been my core. It's always been the main emphasis in running this operation here for all the employees to understand that uh, that's where we start and that's where we finish. We don't ever change from that line. So that's why I know this partnership is a perfect marriage. It's happening at the right time. You know, we still have big goals uh, we want to reach here at Oberlin Marketing and Today's announcement is monumental as far as we're concerned and guarantees that we'll always have the tools to reach all these new goals. Yeah, I'll echo what my dad said, too. Just, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm younger and, and have more of a, uh, a history coming up on, on, on the business and what we can do and the, the effect that integrity can have on our business. So for years we've talked about this, and it just was something that we realized even all the ambitions I have and the things I thought I could do to, to help the family business, I realized that all those ambitions still would fall short of us partnering with someone like you to where we could go. So we still wouldn't be able to serve our agents and our clients the way that we could without partnering. So for us, it just became a, a win-win scenario that, that there was nothing lost. We won in the scenario because we have a uh, you know sustained future. Our agents win because and we can give them the best tools, the best opportunities out there, which, you know, we may not have been able to do before. Uh, but now we just have, you know, culture, resources, and relationships that we can we can have forever. We obviously, like you said, been talking about it for many, many years. And it took us a long time to come around, which we don't really do things quickly as far as change goes. So it's not really a big surprise. <laughs> but at, at the end of the day, there's always sometimes that things change. And this was one of the good ones. Well, guys, listen, this is going to be – so much fun. We have uh, feel like we've gotten to know you so well over the years and, and just excited about not only just the two of you guys, but also Justin and, and, you know, the rest of your team. I mean, you guys have just such an amazing team there that we think will just be so much fun as we come together. And speaking of fun, Dustin, you mentioned, you mentioned culture. And one of the things we want to do here at Integrity is always have fun. Um, and we we, uh, we we look at, at this business as an opportunity to help people, look for, for ways to, to be able to better serve people, but also, you know, not take ourselves too serious and also have some fun along the way. And so, Dan, whenever we started this Inspire podcast, we were in lockdown COVID mode, everybody staying at home. We wanted to get together, have a, something positive for people to hear and just kind of have fun along the way. And, and as, as Dustin mentioned about, you know, culture is, is a big piece of it. You know, we really believe, and I, and I think, honestly, one of the most transitional moments at Integrity has been this Inspire podcast that we've created because it, it allows us all to come together and share news, share ideas, best practices, um, and, and it's inspiration uh, as part of that. And so when we first started this, I, I kind of jokingly said the well, the first guest was uh, Jim Sweeney, and I, I jokingly said it, and I thought he was going to punch me in the throat through the phone. But then the next one was uh, <laughs> next one was uh, AC Chapman, and uh, AC went for it, and then we've kind of had this little fun role ever since. But what we always do is ask the new guests if they want to sing a song, and Kendall usually bells us out. Um, but it's just something to have fun. And, and Dan, you have one of the best voices of anybody I've ever yeah. heard. And so oh, I, yeah. thought, I, I thought if, if we're going to ask anybody, we got to ask you, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm gonna, Your hey, lock uh, is, 
You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. But we listen. You would be. You you do. You do have this. Uh, you do have this great great voice. I thought I'd go for it here. We tried. Yeah. <laughs> we we don't want to give up our day job. That's for sure. <laughs> if you were to sing a song, Dan, what would you sing? You would sing it. Old Town Road. Oh my God, dude! Now you got to sing it. Oh, you're gonna. <laughs> Dan Overland singing the Old Town Road. We got it. Now everybody's got to hear it. I'm getting blown up on text now. Ready? I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. I'm going to take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm going to ride till I can't no more. There you go. That's all you're getting. Wow. Yeah, this is a, I think this is our first ever duet. We sang Happy Birthday. There was a group of us saying Happy Birthday one time. It was so pitiful. We uh, we stopped that. But that uh, that was actually pretty impressive. Man, Dustin, I didn't know you were going to join that. Uh, that was that was a lot of fun. Well, you know one of the things I love about you guys is every time we've gotten together, we've had fun, um, and we, we've uh, we've talked about a lot of different things and really about. You know, really about life in general in a lot of different ways, about how you mow your grass so much uh, and your passion about, you know, keeping a great lawn to a bunch of different different ideas that we've, we've had. Um, and, and one of the things in the video that you said, Dan, really stuck out to me is growing up, you didn't have an eight to five job. You had a five to eight job. And that that work ethic and that that kind of commitment to excellence is something that I just believe just resonates so well with you. And really, every time we, you know, we've ever gotten together, I think about just your co- kind of commitment to excellence. But tell us a little bit about how you grew up and a little bit about your background and how you got in the business. Well, I went to uh, went to Ball State in Mammoth, Muncie, Indiana, <laughs> and had a professor that, uh, well, I did – had a hundred on the first two tests, so he grabbed me, took me into his office, and say, "Young man, you need to go in the insurance business." So I was very fortunate to have a professor taking a little extra help and moved me to the direction I ended up going. I uh, was in direct sales for a bit, and then uh, '81 had the opportunity to start a uh, work in a small uh, small group brokerage operation. And '87, my name went on the wall, and after a couple other small name changes. Um, uh, the last 20 years, it's it's uh, it's been Oberlin. So the small group market was uh, exceptional for us. Uh, there were small insurance companies back in those days. You could see that go, going to change, uh, and there will only be big names left, which is pretty much what we have today. But uh, the health insurance was the uh, the group part was what I was best at and was able to teach agents how to bring their children in, their kids in to uh, – Start making a living as well with some of their other clients. So um, I guess been fortunate to be able to move with the industry over all these years, and and blessed to have the carriers to continue to market. And, and did you did you grow up in Indiana? Tell us about about how you uh, how you grew up. I'd love to yeah hearing yeah. hearing your story a little bit on the video is really uh, exciting for me. Well, I grew up in up in Hamilton, Indiana, and uh, you know dad and grandpa farmed. We had a thousand acres we farmed back in that day when I was when I was learning growing up. And so what you learned on the farm was to have integrity, okay, to uh, to never lie, never cheat, never steal, to love your neighbor. And you knew what a hard day's work was because there wasn't any other option. That was it. Uh, your work job was done. I think the combination of all those things uh, helped me in this industry. The extra hours early on especially got us started, and, and that's what I knew and, and continued. So um yeah, so I've been in Indiana all my life. Uh, after Ball State, moved back to Fort Wayne and, and have been here for some time now. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, people sometimes forget the basic things like hard work and loving your neighbor uh, and how far that can take you. And I believe those things have worked out very, very well for us. Man, I I agree. That is, uh, that is something that we, uh, we totally believe here in integrity, especially with our, our core values of uh, service and and integrity, uh, for sure, and family. Um, speaking of family, Dustin, you, uh, how, how did you get into the business? I got roped into it. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have it. <laughs> Man, growing up, I knew 
to my dad in the insurance business, and I knew in general what insurance was, but all I cared about was playing sports and, and doing what young men do. And so when I went to college, I originally wanted to be an architect and an entrepreneur. Those are my two, you know, what, what, some of my two passions. And when I, uh, about two weeks before I uh, went on my honeymoon, I quit the job I had in India. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Went on the honeymoon for two weeks, spent every dime I had, and I was like, all right, time to get a real job and grow up. So I called my dad and said, hey, I guess I guess I can work for a little bit. I'm only gonna do it for a little bit till I find something, and then uh, really, really actually enjoy it. So for me, it was not about the insurance necessary, but more about the service and helping people. What I found is that I very much enjoy helping people understand and connect with something that they don't know. And for the most part, even my friends now, insurance is one of those things that most people look at like it's an eight-eyed monster because they just don't understand it. They don't know how it helps them. All they think is, this, I spend all this money, I get nothing back. And so for me, it was a nice way that I, I've got to, I, I definitely enjoy to serve people and, and, and help them uh, with things in, in all my entrepreneurial endeavors. And that was really what kind of locked me in. So I, again, I, I always joke that I got roped into it, but then I stayed because I really enjoyed the aspect of what we did, training agents, teaching them how to, um, to be better themselves and how to take care of somebody. And even when I first started, he made me go do direct sales and all this stuff, which I tend to be a decent salesman, but it was uh, definitely a different experience going into an 80 year old uh, a household and trying to explain a product that has zero premium. And, you know, for that person for 80 years, they've been told that they have no free lunch. They have nothing that is given for free. So it was probably the hardest sale pitch for a costing nothing that I've ever done. And so, but for me, it was really, really good because it made me see the agent perspective that when we serve an agent, what I'm doing to help them, how that helps their, their client, not just, how does that help us with our bottom line? I'm, I'm looking farther down the road than just, you know, one one rung of the ladder. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, listen, you've been so fortunate to learn from one of the greatest in the business. And, and I, I know, uh, first of all, you and your sister both have just been really fortunate in that. And, Dan, your, your commitment to excellence is something that, that truly inspires me because you're, even the way, you know, whenever we first got together, we started talking about mowing lawns um, and, and, and just the, the, the dedication you have to whatever you're going to do, you're going to do it right. Um, and mo- some people may not know this about you, but but you mow your, your lawn uh, more than once a week, right? And, uh, and, and when you see your, your lawn, it is just a picture perfect. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything outside of a golf course that looks better, but what is it in you that you think that created that, that true commitment to excellence? Well, again, I think that was uh, where I grew up. That was just the, the option that we chose do the best that we could all the time. I had uh, a couple of sports coaches who were outstanding in that uh, area as well that uh, pushed and pushed and drove us to uh, to excellence far more than, than the average would. So, um, you know, um, farming days <laughs> it goes way back, but I learned how to plow a field a straight line <laughs> down <laughs> real, real fast uh, because that was the easiest, best way to do it. And um, all that's just been... That's just part, been part of my life. Yeah, I think I think there's something to that. What you just said is subtly brilliant because doing something right is typically the easiest and best way to do it. Sometimes we make things so much harder. I know I've got two boys and, I'm, and we're you know trying to teach them, and and it's funny how sometimes they they just like want to do something halfway, or they and you get kind of frustrated with that, and you, you're just like. It's so much easier. You could have been done already if you had just done it the way you were supposed to, and, and then you could be, you know, having fun or playing or whatever. But all too often, it feels like we overcomplicate things. And people who really focus on the details and really focus on making sure that that you complete a job the best you can really have, um, have I think, the most success and probably the most joy as part of that. And after you've been in this business for about 40 years, um, uh, tell us some of the key lessons and moments uh, that you've learned over your journey that have shaped you and gotten you into this phase of your career. Obviously, a lot of things happened in, in 40-some years, but, you know, having met a lot of good people, like many of your other partners that I have known over years, and being able to communicate with them back and forth about ideas has been a pleasure. You know, having won awards 
these trips, like, like the old days, uh, getting some time to spend together. The trips meant a lot. The trips meant a lot. We, we, we worked hard all year long, but a couple of weeks in Maui never bothered us at all either in, uh, in March to take a break. So, uh, that was always something looking, to look forward to. And, uh, you know, we just had agent after agent after agent over these years be very thankful that they didn't have to worry about the response that we gave them, the answer that we gave them, because they knew that we cared about them first and we weren't there to hurt it anywhere oh. away and have we worked and worked at learning to to help an agent grow his or her business was what we've been all about. So so many of those type of experience and thankfulness for those brokers acknowledging um, how much it's, it has meant to them is one of those things you just want to continue. Man, I love that. Listen, Dustin. I mean, you you have uh, you learned from one of the best. Um, I mean, your dad's been on quite the. The journey, tell us a little bit more about what you're so excited about uh, building and, and what it's been like working with your dad. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, my hard work and tenaciousness and everything I'm doing, it, it directly comes from him, comes from my grandfather. I mean, I didn't, even though I, I thankfully didn't have to plow a field or grow up on a farm, uh, I, I skipped that, that generational gap, luckily. But I didn't have the opportunity to work any less hard, even though we've been more blessed, you know, the opportunity, he could have just let me slack off. And I certainly was not given that opportunity to uh, slack off even. I might have two a day soccer practices, come home, he'd make me dig a ditch for what I perceived as no good reason. But it was just, you know, you can have some fun, but you better be ready to work when you get home. So even, even though I, I had a little more privilege growing up than he did, uh, I, again, didn't learn any less work ethic uh, because it, because he certainly would not have allowed it. So so it was, it was one of those things, again, when you're growing up, you're thinking, this is dumb, this is a waste, I don't need this. And now as I look back as as a father myself, all I think is, man, how do I do that for my son? Because what it's given me as a as, a, as an adult and as a man is something that's uh, incomprehensible to had I just been given things. I, I would be in no no way, shape, or form the man I am or the place I am without that. And, you know, he's, he's one where, you know, he's obviously it's hard work, but uh, he's easily the most humble and generous man you'll meet to his own fault sometimes. I'll give him that, but he would never tell you. I mean, he helps people that don't need help. He helps everyone around him. And so for me, again, it's been one of those things where I see the service heart he has. And I just, I don't know any other way because that's all I've known growing up. And again, that's what I'm trying to leave for my, my boys as well, but we've had so much fun. Uh, it's been enjoyable working with him. Um, again, I, I change directions a little faster than he does. So we would have, we always have that that back and forth, but it's been really, really good to hear some of the things that, you know, as a young man, you think you know everything and you can get everything done, and, and then and to hear some wisdom imparted in a situation, you kind of step back like, huh, maybe he has an idea a little bit what he's talking about. And so, um, and everyone I've ever met, I mean, every, every room I've ever gone in where he's been known, uh, the reputation has been so well preceded. I just, it, it, it's been amazing to me. Like, you know, they're, they go out of their way to come say hi to me, like, oh, you're Dan Oberlin's son. And it, it's just one of those things that, you know, you, you know that it's not just something I see here locally or that I see at home. It's it's a, you know, nationwide effect when you have people that you don't even know coming up to you and and uh, and congratulating you because of I luckily got married or I luckily got born into the right family. <laughs> well, you uh, you've also earned it, uh, and you've, your uh, your work ethic has has been a huge part of that as well. And so, I got to tell you, um, it is such an honor to have both of you now as partners. We are so excited and, and just thrilled uh, to finally be here uh, today. In fact, I think out of all people, this is the most requested partnership we've ever had. If not the most, it's one of the most because. There's just so many people who just truly admire you guys and, and admire you in particular, Dan, and have said to me over the years, like, you know, we have got to talk to, to Dan Overland. And the first one was Tom Fleming at Nyslosh and Fleming. And so wanted to see if, Tom, are you there? I want to want to get your perspective of kind of all we've had to do to, uh, to come, come to this day. I am here, Brian. Tom, do you remember the right after right after our partnership, the one of the first guys that you mentioned was Dan Oberlin. In fact, uh, you know, we ended up uh, had you went to see him and, and uh, started talking about it. 
Um, and there was just something about Dan that you really were just so excited about uh, having him him join us. Absolutely. He was on my short list of, of uh, people I wanted to talk to after we joined Integrity, and we're so excited about the opportunity and had some conversations with Dan. Eric Peterson and I actually drove out to his office, uh, I think, in May of 2018. So that's probably how far this goes back. It's been a long time coming, but I'm I'm excited. I think, uh, you know, Dan's truly one of the good guys in our business. Oberlin Marketing has a fantastic reputation, and I'm pleasantly surprised and thrilled to hear the news. I just got a text from Mike White who said, absolutely amazing partner, so excited to work with them. We also have, I think, Larry Drennan on on the call. Larry has has been one of the biggest fans of yours and has also been asking me for years, what's taking so long? Why don't you go (laughs) go see see Dan and I've, I'm like man I've been I've been trying I've been working on it but uh, uh, Larry are you there with us hey uh, that's uh, so exciting and uh, Dan knows how much <laughs> that, uh, I've wanted them to join us although I, I think Dan you will admit that I never tried to coerce you or pressure you to be in you just I knew it was the right fit that's right but uh, you know Dan Dustin congratulations welcome Dan, you know, you and Mickey and Deb and I have been friends since the beginning of Overland Marketing and uh, just wonderful friendship, uh, great family. Brian, I can't talk too much because it would take too long about the great stories that uh, our family has had with the Overland family. We've seen those kids grow up (laughs) to uh, young men and women and we, we haven't met your grandkids face-to-face, but we've seen photos of them, and they're wonderful. Uh, guys, man, welcome. And uh, one little story, uh, Brian, Dan talked about Hawaii, and we uh, I think that's where we really got to know uh, Dan and Deb. Uh, but Dan Oberlin, uh, he's a guy that when he used to negotiate his insurance company contracts, he'd negotiate hard. And then at the end, he said, now, have you got a trip to Kapalua? <laughs> <laughs> and if they, didn't have one, if they didn't have one, they better get one. If they're going to close that deal. So, <laughs> so it's, hey, it's a wonderful yeah. day uh, to have you guys join us, Dan and Dustin and family. And all your associates are, are going to love being part of Integrity. Thank you, Larry. It means, it means the world to me. Yeah, one more little story, Dan. <laughs> Brian, last December, uh, of course, you know how hard and how good of a closer uh, Brian is, but last December we were chatting back and forth about text, and he said, uh, I think we need to go up there. Well, you had told me already how cold it was, and if Brian wanted to go, he's the boss, we would have gone, but... Uh, <laughs> Brian, we didn't make that trip right at that time. Yeah, it was it was pretty cold. We I think we we uh, rescheduled. I, I, now I've been up there quite a bit, but uh, we got to we need to go up there and celebrate. I'm, I'm not kidding. Wait until you see Dan's lawn. You, you've never seen a lawn prettier than this. Every time I, I, I was uh, I'm having some some uh, grass trouble myself right now, and I was I was thinking about this weekend because I was trying to reset my sprinkler systems. I was like. Dan Oberlin would be so, like, disappointed in me if he saw how bad my grass looks because of how how good how good he is at this. And uh, I almost called you yesterday asking for some favors, Dan, to help me figure it out. But I, uh, Larry, appreciate you uh, you joining us. I I know this is this is uh, a special day for for all of us and you and, and Mickey for sure. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, again, welcome, guys. So we're so happy to have you guys in the family. Hey, I just got a text from Taylor Martin. He said, great partnership. They worked with us the last few years. Great guys. Excited to have them as partners. I also have a text. Ryan Kimball was going to join us. He's actually in transit to the Medicare Supplement Conference right now. He said, Dan has built an incredible agency that has really led the way in the Midwest. His influence has helped evolve the senior market to where it is today. Overland Marketing is a fantastic new partner for Integrity, and it will be awesome to see where Dan and Dustin take it now. So 
wanted to share that with you because I know that that means a lot to you. But Dan and Dustin, yep. congratulations! Uh, just honored to be your partner, and appreciate you guys trusting us and believing in us. And um, I can't wait to see what we can do together. It's going to be a lot of fun, my friends. Special day, and we're we're looking forward to the future more than ever. Yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, hey, before we get wrapped up, again, we got some exciting stuff happening. we got ADP kickoff, virtual kickoff next week, so please plan on trying to join that. We've got game time about to start with uh, really our, our fourth quarter rally to really have an incredible uh, fourth quarter. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is another big announcement. We are so excited to have Oberlin Marketing joining Integrity and please make sure that uh, you like and share and post that uh, out on social media. Thanks again, everybody. I hope everybody has an amazing time for all of you. you is going to be at the Medicare Supplement Conference. I look forward to uh, seeing all of you then. Please stay safe out there and uh, look forward to having another great week here at Integrity. God bless you all. Take care. 